Girl, CPK here, aka Tosh. And today I am here with Little Biggie, aka Brianna. And I thought since it's been three weeks since I had it, or a little bit more than three weeks, and I'm finally am kind of sort of starting to get the hang of this mommy thing that I will give you guys a mommy update. <laughs> so as I said, I had my baby three weeks ago on October 21st to be exact at 1.31 a.m. And this little bundle of joy was a C-section. And it wasn't, I, I, it was my choice, but basically we were guessing from the sonogram that she might be over nine pounds. Like they said, they thought she was like nine pounds, five ounces shoulders look really wide so they were like doctor basically called me the day before I was supposed to have her and was like you know you might want to think about a c-section it's up to you what do you want to do I chose c-section because I felt that was the less risk to her the safest thing was to have it induced but if she got stuck then she could maybe not breathe her shoulder could be hurt things like that and Honestly, I didn't want to risk that. I just felt like I would rather risk myself or for in the C-section than risk my little baby being induced. So, she was pulled from my belly early, early in the morning on October 21st. And she has been just a little bundle of joy. And not to say that she doesn't, doesn't like give us the blues because she does which I already knew she would and um, I'm basically just like when I'm recording this this is like my second first day being alone with her my fiance Phil has been home with me the first three weeks to help out with everything especially since I had a c-section you know I had to be careful lifting and all of that good stuff so he had was around but he had to go back to work because you know Unfortunately, you know, bills or whatnot. I know it's so annoying. But, look at her. Look at her, my little fucking wife. This is little, she is just my little precious. I love her so much. She's only been here a few weeks, and I'm like, who was life before her? I don't know. I know that's cliche, but it's cliche for a reason because it's one of those things when you, I don't know, I guess it's like when you have a baby, it just become your whole world. Oh yeah, but basically everything went very smoothly. Thank God. Um, the the surgery went very smooth. It was no issues. I mean, the only issue that I guess I kind of had was my blood pressure dropped a few times after the C-section. Like once she was out, my blood blood pressure dropped a couple times. But it wasn't nothing that they couldn't fix, and you know they just. I just had to um, wait a little bit to hold her because when they first gave it to me, I was so out of it that I couldn't, you know, I didn't want to drop her or anything, so I, I couldn't really hold her. So, yeah, so I ended up having to wait a little while to feed her and whatnot. But everything went smooth. I feel like it was not as bad as I was thinking it was going to be. Like, I didn't feel anything throughout the surgery. Like, I went from just talking to Phil because. I basically was just like distracting myself from what was going on by talking to him and they were tripping off of us. They were like, y'all just having a conversation. I'm like, yeah, I need to, I don't want to sit here stressing over what's going on. So we're talking and then all of a sudden I just hear this little girl screaming her head off and I just melted. I just melted. It was just like, oh my God, that's my baby. That's really my baby. She's out of my belly. She's screaming. She's healthy. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe it. And I immediately started crying because of course I did. But yeah, so. Like I said, I really wasn't expecting it. 
to go that smooth. Even afterwards, I feel like when I was in the bed, I wasn't in too much pain. It was only when it was time for me to start getting up after after a day. You know, it was time for me to start getting up, moving around, and that hurt, of course. But as long as I was in the bed, I was fine. I wasn't even getting the medicine as often. Like, they hooked me up to the where I can push the button. I don't think I ever used it. And at first, they didn't even hook it up because it's like, I don't know. It wasn't too bad. Like I said, if I was in the bed chilling, it was fine. And Phil was in the hospital with me the entire time. So, you know, she was in the room with me, with us. So, it was, you know, I didn't really have to do much. I was able to leave after three days. Once I, you know, hit all the milestones I had to hit. So basically the Sunday after I had her, we came home. And it's just been good ever since. I mean, I can't complain. She is my little bundle. And she is adorable. And I love her so much. Even though she's my little fuss of us. And my think of me. Because, oh my goodness, one thing I did not know before having a baby was breastfeeding means a lot of poopy pampers. It's like poopy diapers all day long, all day, that's it. And sometimes just projectile poop right at you if you're not quick enough changing the diaper. So I call her my think of me because she just make a lot of thinky pampers. But ain't that for my baby. But yeah, it's not too much to update. Life has just basically been trying to take care of her, pumping breast milk because when I first had her, I was not producing breast milk, so we had to give her a bottle the first few times she was fed so she can eat because her blood sugar was low because she wasn't getting any food. And she got used to the bottle. So now she doesn't really like to drink from the breast. She will, but she doesn't like it. So that means a lot of pumping, a lot of work to keep the milk flowing, but you know, she worth it, anything for my little baby. So yeah. I mean, that's basically it. I, I just feel so blessed to have her. She is so gorgeous, so beautiful, so perfect. I just love her so much. She is such a sweetheart. And yes, she is a little fussy sometimes when she just cry, cry, cry. And I'm like, what do you want? What do you want, baby? But look at him. Look at how do you not love this face? Look at this face. Look at this face. Look at that face. Look at her. She is perfect. Look at my little cabbage patch kid. And that's one thing I thought was really funny. For anyone who doesn't know, CPK, grown up, is short for cabbage patch kid grown up. Because when I was younger, people said I like cabbage patch kid. So I thought it was funny that several doctors and nurses in the operating room was like, she looks like a cabbage patch doll. And I'm like, oh my God. My mini me, I gave birth to a little cabbage patch doll. I can't believe so yeah, but eh, it's still brand new to me. I still have a lot to learn. I'm still struggling. I have problems not like holding her. <laughs> I just want to hold her all the time because I love our cuddles. I love talking to her when she's awake. I love playing with her. And it's just hard. Even when she's sleeping, I just want to hold her and cuddle with her and show her I love her. And I know that, you know, I can't hold her 24 seven because, you know, spoiled baby syndrome. And I will have to go back to work eventually where, you know, who's ever watching her won't be able to just hold her 24 seven. But it's hard. We just love her so much. And it's not just me, it's her dad too. It's just like, we just, just wanna get her, just wanna get her and love on her every second of the day. I got some food coming. So that's why, if you wonder why I keep looking out the window, I'm looking for the door that's sort of, I want to come on. And it's outside, my food water comes so. She is so perfect, y'all. I can't, I can't lie to you. She is so perfect. I gotta get my food. Anyway, I got my food secure. So, you know, I'm gonna eat my lunch after I finish recording. But, really have too much more to say I mean it's like I said it's everything is still brand new to me I'm still trying to learn and get the hang of everything trying to figure out how to get enough sleep and how to get everything done right now she is basically taking over the house you might see like the panthers the breast pump like 
every she just she got a pile of clothes over there. They all clean. Well, she got dirty and clean clothes over there. It's just like oh, it's a lot. But you know, I feel like I'm doing okay, and I'm loving every second of it. I really am. Uh, honestly, <laughs> part of me wasn't sure if I was ever gonna be a mom, especially as I got older. I'm like, ah, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna over 30. I don't know if I'm gonna have any kids. And now that I had her, it's like, oh my goodness, I can't believe it. But you might have heard her little, her little cry. She wants some attention, and she wants some love, and she wants to play before she go to sleep. So I'm going to end this video. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick update and introduce you formally to my little Brianna, my think of me, my little Biggie. <laughs> We love her so much, I'm telling you. She is, mm, it's gonna be so hard not to spoil her riding. I told her dad, he he kept saying, we we're gonna spoil her riding. And I'm like, no, not riding. We can't spoil her riding, but I am struggling, y'all. I'm telling you, I am struggling. She is just such a precious little baby that I just, I see her and I want to give her all the love. I want to give her all the love. Yes, I do. I want to give her all the love and the But okay, you guys don't want to sit here and watch me baby talk with my baby. So anyway, that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big like. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe. And if you want to know when I upload, go ahead and ring that bell. I'm sure I will have more videos with little Biggie in the future. I'm not gonna say every video because you know. I just know she's not going to be in every video, but she is my, she is going to be my everything. She is my everything. I love her so much. She's the center of my world. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure she's going to be in my vlog. So until next time. When that milk coma hits.